All right, I am going to show how to sew um, cushions for my pop-up camper. I already made several. I have one more to make. The last one I need to make is for this small square one right there. Um, I already made eight out of nine. Here is the second to last one I made. Well, I mean the last one I made, but the second to last one I will need to make. Um, and I put label with masking tape for now, but I'm going to use my Cricut to make um, labels that will stay. And I'll show you what this looks like on the cushion. That way I don't have to try to guess which cushion goes to which. Okay, so here is that same cover on its respective cushion. The reason I decided to make these, uh, well, I don't think the color is bad on this uh, duck cloth that the last owners of our pop-up camper used. It, it stains so easily. And even though we don't bring our shoes inside the camper, it still gets dirty. So I got, well, first I tried some covers that people suggested. Some people suggested slip cover chairs, uh, or yeah, like those simple chairs people use like for weddings, like those kinds of slip covers. Some people suggested crib sheets. I tried a few of these. I even tried uh, some covers that were exactly for um, camping cushions and they all weren't quite the right fit. The reason I tried that instead of just making it is, I guess, I don't know, laziness. What's my time worth? Um, and also they didn't have anything that I quite liked. So I bought this custom fabric from Spoonflower and I got it 100% polyester because Polyester doesn't stain so easily, and it, it can be washed frequently. Um, yeah, so I guess I think that's going to be part one. And I'll be back for part two.